We didn't meet to start the forum. We met to talk about this itch that we all of us had. We gathered in a restaurant in Silicon Valley. Uh, at least I think it was a restaurant. It might have been a bar. Partway into our lunch, we were all writing on the tablecloth and writing on the napkins. It's one of these classic moments where everybody's talking and throwing out ideas. And right at the center was this idea of a forward-facing gathering of social entrepreneurs and their allies and, and champions from all over the world. The field was about to take off. It needed an identity and it needed a structure. And so we were in kind of a historic moment saying, we have an opportunity to actually make this a movement, not just a collection of individual initiatives. And who better to take that on than a young business school in the oldest university in the world? No one was more surprised and delighted when 400 people showed up from all over the world. At that time, the word social entrepreneurship wasn't very common. I'm like, what am I, a social entrepreneur? What is that? Business wants to capture a market. A social entrepreneur wants to change the world. The social entrepreneurs are the innovators, they're the inventors, they're the, the explorers, if you will. Solving societal problems with the discipline, the drive, and the disruption of an entrepreneur. Every year, I really look forward to actually just connecting with people. And people are doing things on the ground that are changing reality. People we have never thought that we would meet. People that um, serve other communities in areas that are so far from us. All that class, caste, hierarchy just falls apart and crumbles here. And it makes you think that anything is possible. Sweet dreams of One of the classic things that entrepreneurs will tell you in any sphere, in any part of the world, is it's a very lonely business. So it was an explicit part of our intention to make social entrepreneurs feel less lonely. I'm based in Cambodia. Cambodia is far, far, far away from everything. So coming to the forum is a time where I'm actually not isolated anymore. I literally know hundreds of people, maybe thousands, who are a part of this sort of global strategy to make the world a better place. We are at school in the Oxford town With Jeff in the front of the room And we're trying to change the world You've come here from over 65 countries to share your wisdom, your insights, and your knowledge with us. And for that, we're immensely grateful. The forum is sort of a magical combination of the people, the purpose, and the place. The forum is a test tube, and you mix all these very interesting little chemicals, and you shake it, you heat it up a little, and you see all these fantastic things that happen. It's very exciting, the chaos of everything going on. It's organic. It's something that, that moves. So it's not one thing. It's a thousand little things that, over time, become something much bigger. I may be walking in the streets of a city called Amsterdam, but the dust on my boots and the rhythm of my feet and my heartbeat say Africa, say Africa, say Africa. The critical thing to move us from A to B is belief. And we believe that the collective is always much more powerful than individuals. Collaboration individual entrepreneurs, businesses, governments is a necessity. This is not a job for one side or one sector. We all have a role to play in promoting multicultural responsibility. This forum is such a great mechanism to sit out at a table and, and develop a new relationship and say, okay, how can we partner together to move our mission forward? If Wendy Kopp has just done the best thinking on how you mobilize young people against systemic challenges, and Paul Farmer and his team have done the best thinking about a lay health workforce, and we can build on those, we want to do that. The less we can start from scratch, the faster we will get to our destination. Sometimes what happens is you are in the discussion which you did not expect, and you hear something that you can connect. I mean, that's, that's how 
social entrepreneurs, I think, work. I might have a connection that somebody else didn't know about. Somebody else might have an idea that I hadn't thought about. And some of the ideas are good and some of the ideas are really bad. And it's a really good place to kind of work through that with people who've been down that path before. It was only by going to the forum that I really began to appreciate the value of scaling my idea because I was with people who were scaling ideas. We live in an era in which simply seeking to provide high quality medical care to the world's poorest is considered innovative and entrepreneurial. And uh, to follow Paul Farmer and just to hear him say, the village in Rwanda to which I will be returning tomorrow. I'm going to Paris tomorrow. We cannot any longer think that climate change is simply something for the future. We have to squeeze into our ecological footprint a just and meaningful society. These realities create daunting new challenges, but they also create amazing new opportunities. Now inclusion can vanquish intimidation. Number one priority for young women that age was economic independence. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible, ridiculous things are actually the most doable things because where there is a gap of impossibility, people leap in. Like most of you here, I am an optimist. I cannot imagine that our story will not have a happy ending. We are made for compassion. We are made for caring. If we imagine, it will happen. If we don't imagine, it will never happen. Social entrepreneurs are indeed the hope of our future world. You look at the body of work and the variety of work and the, and the determination and the obsession and the commitment and the, just the plain effort it takes to do this stuff. It's not only the highlight of the forum, it's one of my highlights of the year. When Archbishop Tutu was dancing in the front row <laughs> and Peter Gabriel was singing anti-apartheid liberation song, that's got to be a peak experience for anybody in the world. <laughs> When we started, we were very preoccupied by getting this fledgling movement recognized. That game is over. Okay? There is nobody in government, in policy, in business, in investment, who doesn't recognize the centrality of this. I wouldn't do without coming to the Skull Forum. Our impact wouldn't be half of what it is now. We wouldn't be reaching 10 million people. We wouldn't be able to work with government in the way we have. We wouldn't have been able to come up with new financial and operational models. And I think that if we're any kind of example, multiply that by the number of social entrepreneurs here, and we're making a big change in the world. We now know this is real. It can be done. So it's only going to get better. For the forum community, I think the only limitation we should acknowledge is the limitations of our collective talents and abilities. And between us, I don't think there is a limitation.